So hello everybody guys, it's me the excellent reviewer, uh, talking about, uh, made a video, making a video about, guess what, it's official, G1 Climax is officially done and over with, especially with the winner coming out to be none other than the perennial ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Now, I didn't think that Tanahashi was going to end up winning, but he was sort of the story of the tournament, you know, sort of you know he was winning and winning and winning and he sort of kept on picking up speed and it was sort of the unlikely story that oh is Tanahashi actually gonna do it I thought if anything it was gonna be Kota Ibushi because he has the better story with Kenny Omega being IWGP heavyweight champion that they can feed off of that like they did in the B block finals I thought if anything that they could feed off of that but it is official that Hiroshi Tanahashi uh, is our official G1 Climax 28 winner, as you can see right here. Right here, boom. Proof right there. Not that you wouldn't believe me, of course, because I am the excellent reviewer. But um, he was he was sort of the tail. He was sort of the tail of, of you know... You know, a lot of people were like, you know, the ace, he's getting up there in terms of age. Can he do it? Can he main event another Wrestle Kingdom? Turns out he can, and the chances are likely that he is going to retain the briefcase, because, you know, you have to defend that briefcase. Uh, you have to defend that briefcase. I honestly do not see him losing that briefcase anytime soon. I do not see him losing the briefcase. Uh, I don't think there's anyone they could lose it to. And as for as for the main event of Wrestle Kingdom is concerned, I am not sure whether or not he will get another heavyweight title shot, whether or not Kenny Omega will drop it to Tanahashi, but I like it because it's unexpected. The fans love Tanahashi. Give him one more run in the Tokyo Dome. So New Japan was all like, let's give it to him. One more run in the Tokyo Dome. And that's what we're going to get. One more run in the Tokyo Dome against the best in the world. Two of the best colliding with one another. Kenny Omega, Hiroshi Tanahashi, one-on-one -on -one with each other. Kota Ibushi looked devastated. Who knows uh, what's going to happen to him. I thought it was the ultimate story. Have Kota Ibushi against Kenny Omega, IWGP Heavyweight title on the line. But then they threw a curveball by having Tanahashi end up winning it. I couldn't be happier with the decision. Love Tanahashi. He's great. He came out with Katsuri Shibata in his corner. At the end, Katsuri Shibata picked him up, put him on his sho uh, on his shoulders. You know, that's just awesome. It's great to see uh, Shibata again, especially with uh, him at Tanahashi's side. But yeah, G1 Climax has concluded. And now we are on our way, slowly but surely, to Wrestle Kingdom. So do me a favor, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. It, whether you agree that Tanahashi was the right choice, or do you think it should have been Kota Ibushi. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And I'll see you all as soon as I can. Goodbye, and good night. Bang!